Hey folks, um, welcome to Gordy's Basement, and I wanted to share with you uh, some uh, interesting find. Uh, I have here a box uh, that contains a VXT uh, 120 feeder, and it's date coded August 4th, uh, 2021. And I obtained this on the surplus market. Somebody was unloading it. And as you can see, it's a sealed box. So we're gonna go ahead and break the seal, find out what's inside. Typical in this box, we'll find the uh, 3 8 uh, male adapter by a half inch sweat fittings and the seal. A baggie, a Ziploc baggie, and this is the 120, uh, 120 volt version of their new style. Uh, I guess you'd call it universal mount um, VXT, and there's the uh, valve with the disc on it that can rotate. Uh, we'll get, might get to that a little bit, and uh, looks like they've. Uh, the DEMA, D-E-M-A, uh, is back in their good graces. And this is the DEMA 443P, as in Paul. I'll go ahead and open this one up. And uh, as you, there we are. Go ahead and unloosen these uh, lockdown quarter inch lockdown nuts. Put them on tight at the factory. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll get that. And so they have a DEMA valve, uh, but they have a Robert Shaw coil. It's a 120 volt, 50, 60 hertz, 10 watts, made in Mexico. And the date code, I think you can see, is uh, August uh, 4th, 2021. And let's go ahead and hook it up to our power. A little bit. Oh. And you have to take a few more safety precautions when you're running 120 volts, of course. So we got the neutral is end of the top is coated white. And the uh, Itch is hot. We're going to code that black and we need to open up this screw a little bit more. There we go. Bear with me, gentlemen. Ah, oh, thank you. Okay. I'll tighten that down again. And we'll go ahead and light it up. This one's a nice bit of kit from England. Um, the light shows whether it has power or not and of course you have the ground which I have not hooked up neutral and hot and these are the tines and there's a fuse there I'm going to go ahead I've got another switch downstream which uh, I'm going to turn on see the lights glowing and as soon as I close this uh, it should energize the VXT there we go six well, that's interesting usually it's two Oh, all right, well, it's from the factory. All right, so now we're going to push the feed button and see how it sounds. Oh, it's nice and quiet. Not so fast. Yeah, I've got a little noise there. So let's uh, de-energize that. And let's pop this coil off. Let me turn on the light. Can I turn on the light on this thing? Ah, shoot. All right. Let's see if you can see that a little bit better. Let's go ahead and pop these terminals off and see what we see. Um, got a couple of other ones, and what has happened is in the factory, they've uh, wrapped this, this portion 
with uh, tape. And what has happened is as they push the, the uh, coil uh, on this thing, the tape is bunched up at the bottom. And uh, a couple of others where I've, you can see there, pretty well bunched up. And that's might cause a, uh, a noise complaint from folks. So uh, what I've been doing is I've been taking a bit of um, foil that's about one inch in diameter and about inch and three quarters uh, long. And I've been uh, wrapping it around in the uh on that uh post there the uh got to go around one and maybe a quarter times let's see if this works and should to work it down on there and you can't have any bunch up at the bottom so i usually like to um put this tab up top because it's the shorter and this longer white rod I like putting back on that tab for some reason it's just kind of like my little quirk all right we're going to energize the uh let's see put this back in there that's about to come out and then we're gonna okay we got it energized the light goes out nice and quiet Yeah, if you just pull it off just a little bit, it'll buzz, but uh, that'll stay and not uh, not bunched up. So I've removed a couple of them like that. I've opened them up where I've found the uh, tape kind of like bunched at the bottom and these things are a buzzing. So I'm going to go ahead and reset this to zero and de-energize it. Double, double secure there, and going to go ahead and mark this. Today is 11.07.21, and I've checked it, and it's ready to go out in the field, in the wild. So just to for those of you who might be watching this video for the first time, um, we've got, uh, uh, some Phillips head screws here, which if you loosen them, uh, just a little bit, maybe a turn or two, uh, then this is rotatable. So you hold this valve and you just rotate this right on around to any direction you want and make sure that's pushed down all the way let's see if I can get a good shot of it. it's got to it's got to go right all the way on the bottom there oh well, it more it might make noise and then you uh, tighten these back up lock so and goes back in the these will go on. I'll just uh, just uh, lightly crank that down, not too hard. A little sticker there that says annual maintenance required, which is basically to uh, inside of here. An excellent set of instructions. Uh, blue is the mark for the quick guide there. And you want to have your tag and read the instructions here and keep track of your usage. And uh, that will give you a good data points for if you're having a problem uh, with leaks in your system, which kill boilers. It sort of acts like the canary in the coal mine. So there we are. She's backed up. 
ready to go. And she's been checked and this goes into inventory. And thank you very much. I hope this, uh, hope you all learned something today. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know.